Well, first up on the show, life is slowly coming back on track in China as China has reopened the forbidden city three months after it was closed due to the coronavirus pandemic in Beijing. The move uh, can be seen as a sign that the nation where the deadly disease originated has contained the spread of the virus. Now, uh, the sprawling imperial palace that sits across Tiananmen Square was first shut down on January 25th, owing to the fear of the COVID-19 outbreak. But the Palace Museum reopened the Forbidden City today with a daily limit of 5,000 visitors, down from 80,000 before the pandemic. The heavy police deployment was seen at the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Beijing as it welcomed visitors after a long time. Several precautionary measures are being taken at the Forbidden City to avoid the risks of the spread of coronavirus. Visitors will have to wear masks and show health codes on a special mobile phone app which will indicate if they are an infection risk or not. Temperatures will be taken at the entrance and anyone coughing or showing fever signs will be turned away. Visitors will also have to stand one meter apart from each other within half an hour of the announcement that the Forbidden City will reopen. Around 2,500 tickets were booked according to the ticketing website. And earlier we spoke with uh, the political and economic commentator Aina Tangan from Beijing. We asked him about what this opening meant for Beijing. Absolutely, because it's a symbol of, you know, the center of China. Uh, it's the, you know, the most revered uh, government site. It's the site of power. Uh, but I just want to make sure everyone understands that everything you're talking about is in terms of entrance to the Forbidden City is exactly the same. If I, whether I'm going to a hotel, uh, a restaurant, uh, any facility, even a park, I have to show uh, all of the things that you talked about. Now, it's not correct that people who cough or have a fever are turned away. They'll immediately uh, uh, be taken um, into not uh, some sort of protective uh, situation, referred to a hospital where they can be tested to make sure that they are non-infectious. Uh, it would be irresponsible uh, in a large crowd to release somebody who obviously has some sort of uh, health condition uh, which could affect everybody else. But yes, uh, it's a new day in uh, Beijing. Um, it's been three long months. I've been here during that period, and it is finally nice to see some opening up. 